We are. Yes, we are. Hey there. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay, for those, well, I'm on my personal page, but for those who don't know me, I am uh, Dr. Anita C. Powell, my Anita, and I'm here. It's 4.51 in the morning for me, and I wanted to come on because this is um, a particular time of day. So I want to ask, uh, do, do you, you know, wake up during the wee hours in the morning and then go back to sleep? Well, you know, I used to, around 4 o'clock. I would wake up and I said, oh, it's too early. I'd look at the clock. I said, oh, why am I getting up so early? And I would go back to sleep. But then I would wake up because I realized that, wait, I got an idea during that time. And, of course, I didn't remember it. And then it got to the point that when I would wake up during this time, 4 o'clock during this time, then I would get the idea. And I said, okay, I'll remember it when I wake up in the morning. And I would go back to sleep. And then, of course, when I wake up in the morning, I'll be like, okay, what was that? What was that idea then? What was that? Then? What was that? Then? They came to me. So then I started, um, started dawning on me this four o'clock, this four o'clock hour. And I thought, I said, oh my gosh. I said, that's when I'm getting ideas. And I called it my God hour. So this morning, this is. We put the my God hour, and I got the idea to share my God hour with you. I said, well, why not? You know, it's one love, one energy. We're all connected anyway. So I wanted to come on and ask you, you know, do you wake up in the wee hours? If you do, pay attention. That is probably your God hour. And it's so the way it, you know, energy is something because 4 o'clock, my mom said that I was born like 8 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, four is half of eight, you know, thought it's, it's, it's the exact half. And I'm talking numbers here, you know, the, the logic of things. And then the number four, that is, um, I'm a numerologist uh, for those of you, so most of you already know, for those of you who don't, I practice a numerology, been doing it since the 80s, and, and, and I, as far as getting the, with the, the universal and personal vibration, because everything is numbers, even music is the audio of mathematics. So anyway, it uh, dawned on me that the number four, which is work and discipline, is missing, missing from my birth name. And any numerical value that is missing from your name, if there is a number missing, that is one of life's lessons for you. And yeah, I had to learn how to, you know, work and discipline, you know, work, work for things that uh that that you know that I accomplish and, and, and things like that. So that's something that I needed to learn. So I wanted to come on and just ask you, do you wake up during the wee hours? Pay attention to that, okay? Because when I woke up this morning I said, okay, um I'm gonna be sharing a message regarding mental health. Thank you, Vega. Uh, I was invited for the uh UHO and uh, because world World Mental Health Day is tomorrow, and I'll, I'm preparing a message for today because I'll be on today. And my God hour, I woke up with an idea on how to present it, so got up and, and wrote things down. So I just wanted to come on and ask you, you know, if you want more information about this because it's, it's absolutely fascinating and wonderful. It is not coincidental. Um, things like this, you know, it, everything is in divine proportion, time, love, and order, and it, there is a System. The universe is systematic, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to come on and share that information with you. So if you wake up in the wee hours, don't fall right back to sleep. You know, give it some thought a minute. See if something has come to you from the universe, from God, and, and get up, cut that light on, and write it down to make it plain because that is some valuable information that absolutely is something that you will be able to use to advance and, and progress in your personal, um, professional, because one in the same, life, all right? So we know that the journey in self-recovery is absolutely beautiful. I hope you know so beautiful, both he and she. So are you. So what are we doing? We are touching on that trust and tapping into ourselves. We are human and divine, and as you tap into you, I tap into me. We tap into we, because we know there's one love, one energy, and we are connected with it. Therefore, we are connected with each other. All right. Blessings, peace, and love.